Good morning, folks. This video is about uh, making zinc chloride and then using the zinc chloride to uh, build a uh, microwave uh, kiln. And uh, this is uh, based on a video by uh, Robert Murray Smith. Uh, and it, uh, it's simple, it's fast, and it produces a, a, a good uh, it produces a good kiln. He uses it to uh, carbonize some uh, dried carrots and with zinc chloride. So uh, what I want to do though is, is make a, an improvement upon uh, the kiln that, that he used for that. So the first thing you need is some zinc chloride and this is really easy to make. I made this last year. Uh, it's about jars, about a third full or so left, but uh, you just uh, you take uh, hydrochloric acid and the cheapest way to get hydrochloric acid is to uh, go to the store and buy some muriatic acid which is about a 32 percent uh, solution of hydrochloric acid uh, in water and then you just chuck uh, zinc pieces of zinc in the hydrochloric acid and which will dissolve the acid and you've got to do this outside though don't do it inside because it gives off chlorine gas and you don't want to breathe that it will kill you real quick so Anyway, go outside, hydrochloric or muriatic acid in a, in a jar and just keep chucking uh, pieces of zinc into it until they quit dissolving. And then all the chlorine is either escaped out of the water or combined with the zinc to form zinc chloride and you end up with a, with a jar of zinc chloride. So real easy stuff to make right there. Just keep adding this stuff until you know more of it dissolves. And then, and then you're you're fine to go. So uh, now for the kiln part of it, what I've got here is a clay pot that I bought from with a saucer for the bottom of it. It's not the saucer; well, it might be, I don't know. But it's a it's a clay pot from the uh, from the garden store, and uh, it's fired, but it's not uh, glazed that I can see. And uh, what I did. It has a hole in the bottom here, and I used a hydraulic uh, cement to patch that. And you can see, and you can see it probably better this direction. You see, it cracked a little bit, but that's not going to, it's not going to affect this too much. So anyway, um, you get a clay pot and uh, seal the bottom of it with some hydraulic cement. And then what I'm going to do is take this zinc chloride here and coat the inside of this pot with it. It's porous so the zinc chloride will soak into the pot and we'll have a, a pot that's saturated, well maybe not saturated, but you'll have the zinc chloride in, in the pot and you know what happens when you put metal inside of a microwave oven, right? So this is going to get extremely hot and should make a great kiln and, uh, and it'll, the zinc chloride, or the zinc will be right in the in the clay now the top I look around it and try to find a pot that sets in there and makes a real nice seal that's see that's sealed all around there pretty well but there's uh, there's a little lip that goes around here and I'm going to take that out to the shop and I want to grind that lip off of there so that this beveled surface fits down in there even better and that should make a, a really nice seal all the way around that way so uh, I'm not going to coat this right in here right now inside the house but I'm going to uh, I'll do all that and then uh, the next video that I do about this I'll uh, I'll actually use it in a, in a kiln and make some uh, carbon and uh, I want to make a graphitized uh, uh, graphitized uh, nitrile nitride carbon nitride uh, in this too and, and some other things uh, a, uh, having a, a kiln is very is a, is a useful item to have, and you don't want I don't want to spend uh, thousands of dollars to buy one, and this is an uh, easy way to do it, and uh, and it costs a lot less uh, money than firing up a, a kiln with gas or electric or whatever. So anyway, that's uh, what's this, is, and uh, I don't know when the next video will be on that, uh, but. Uh, It'll be coming up in the future sometime. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.